Ilya is going to play prize money tournament. In this video, you will see how far he went after a 10 day preparation. The tournament name is Tornadens Rame and it is held at the club of tennis of Monsanto in Lisbon, Portugal. There were 45 male tennis players who signed up to play this competition. The total prize money is 2000 euros. 1000 for the girls and 1000 for the boys. The winner of the boys competition takes home 216 euros. In order to win this tournament, he will need to win 5 consecutive matches. I arrived at club earlier to make sure that I prepare myself the best possible for this match because I was feeling nervous. It was a long time without playing and I didn't know what to expect from my tennis. I wanted to prepare my rackets, all my equipment, my shoes. I wanted to tape my wrist to be sure that it will not be a problem during the match. After it, I started with my warm-up, my physical warm-up. It's helped me a lot because I feel that when I warm up all my body, I feel more confident and also I feel more ready to play. When I came on court, it was a big release because when you start to play, you're focused on playing and you're not thinking about the match. I was feeling ready. In the first round of the tournament, Ilya is going to play against Ilian Cavallero a young Argentinian player that has a Portuguese national ranking of 170. Here we see the beginning of the match. It was a big surprise for me. I was not prepared to feel that bad on court, but I was practicing well. And here I'm already facing first break point, second serve. I miss some relatively easy ball and I'm 2-0 down. My reaction to this discomfort was to be a bit uh, P passive, not to be uh, very aggressive and missing a lot of returns, but putting uh, enough energy on my st uh, strike. Also, I was not uh, feeling re really well moving my car. And uh, here I'm already 5-2 down. I'm talking to Danny outside the court, telling that I don't have solutions, I'm not feeling well. And uh, basically what we decided in this point is that I will just do my game, being aggressive, look for the net, make my opponent adapt to me, not me adapting to my opponent. Anyway, I'm still losing this first set, but I was already with my game plan on my head and I already see some way, my way to win this match. Here I have my first opportunity, break point, and I go for it and do a winner inside out. It was very good because I have some margin to, pl margin to play now. You can see I'm playing much more aggressive. Great. Winner down the line here, 30 all. I was doing some noise at this point because I was a bit tense. This is a very important moment and I finished the game 2-1. Three, three one. I'm doing some servant volley. This set was good set because I was playing like I need to play. After this second set, the third set, it's difficult to play because I played really bad level in the first set and the second I played well and I know that now when I need to assume the match when when I need to win it's when big difficulties come and as you see I'm getting much more tense my my wallets are not that uh, that aggressive now and I may give much more opportunities to my opponents to pass me here for example I do two wallets to the middle of the court and I get a passing shot At this point I'm serving at 3 all. I feel really tense, volleying, volleying to the middle, don't play very aggressive. Uh, opponent taking his opportunities, credits to him. And here I am already 15-30, second serve, I'm tense. Do a double fault. I start to feel frustrated, angry. Here I make some noise at this point, I'm playing aggressive and it's great, great point. And now, first serve out, second serve, double fault, tension. 
I'm feeling really frustrated, as you can see my racket is flying, and I was feeling, okay, finito for me. I'm, uh, I will not be able to, to win this match. And here, I'm playing a really good game, coming back and feeling relief. From this point, I was feeling, okay, I was already almost done, and I have one more opportunity, so I will take it. And I'm playing to win every point, like, I'm really playing to win every point. Not to don't lose again. I'm uh, rolling much more to sides. I'm much more ready for every ball. Good smash here. Good points. Very good attitude. I take six five up here with a good serve on the line. It was supposed to play a tie break. But I uh, thought like this, okay, I will play really aggressive in these returns to try to finish this now and don't need to play a tie break. As you can see, I'm returning well, I'm playing aggressively down the line and looking for the net. In this point, I was just trying to survive and my goal was not to go to a tie break. I wanted to finish now, to don't need to face the pressure of, of, of the tie break. I was putting some pressure on his serve in, the, in this point, as you can see. It was really good to play these tense moments after after a stop. Again, looking for a net. And the match point. The big celebration. To reach the final, Ilya fought through three more games, encountering numerous challenging situations and securing some truly remarkable outcomes. It was evident that his level was rising with every single match. He had to defeat the first seed, a college player, and a talented and competitive junior. Furthermore, we are of the opinion that you will be able to see the significant difference between Ilya's performance in the initial round and the final, which is highly encouraging for his future. To become the champion of the tournament, Ilya needed to defeat Diego Fernandes. Diego was in an 11-win streak. Conscious of his opponent level, Ilya knew that he had to give everything in this match. In the beginning of the match and before the match, I was already really tired. I was not used to do that many matches. In two days, I played four matches and my body was already completely destroyed. But uh, mentally, I was ready for the match. I wanted so much to win this match and uh, I knew that opponent, this opponent is difficult because I saw him playing against Ricci and I knew that he's the best opponent uh, technically of all these guys. So my focus was just to play the shortest point possible, play my way, go to the net, don't let the guy play basically because I knew that if I let him play, it's difficult for me in physical aspect and also in the mental aspect. As you see, in the beginning of the set, I had really soon some opportunity here at 2 all, 30 all. after I got 30-40 in his serve, and here, here we have a break point. In this break point, I play high ball on his backhand. Why I did it? Because we already before the match, we saw him playing and I knew that he had some difficulty in, in the high ball on his backhand and I was waiting for a very important moment to use it. He had some opportunities in the next game, but I, was, I was managed to save break points with my self. Fuck you!
and after 6-4. Very solid first set. After winning the first set, what really happened is that I think I relaxed a bit. In my first set of this game, I'm uh, doing a double fault after he do a good point. At 30 while I miss a volley. Like I think I'm, I was not, uh, I was already not that disciplined. After I'm break and the, I'm 2-0 down. In this moment, I think all the past matches helped me because I was already in these difficult situations and I was able to come back from these situations. I started to be like even more disciplined, trying to be even more intense. As you can see in the next service game, I'm, br I'm breaking him. At 4-3, he had some opportunities to break me and come back to the match. But in, in that moment, I felt that I need to be brave and uh, be aggressive. It paid off. I won the game and I think I deserved it because I played to win every single point. I break him and um, I win a tournament. It was a great moment for me because I was not expecting this. It was a big relief and also it's something that 
this type of results motivates me because it was the first time I winning a tournament in clay court and it shows me that I'm in the right way and with my style of playing I can beat players in every surface. Thank you everybody for watching these two episodes. It was great to share this with you. In the next year, be ready because we are preparing something big.